All right, check this out. 60 seconds from now, like and subscribe. I'm going to react to this particular video right here. So he's called me a prick, and I've gone back to him and said, who are you fucking calling a prick? And, um, you know, he's come back and said, you, I don't like you. I'm like, fair enough, you don't like me. But all I've done is been honest and give constructive criticism on what you've done since losing to Ruiz and Usyk and where you're going now, you're fighting Dubois. There's no need to get personal. No need to start on a man's hooter. It's looking pretty good, by the way. And then you've got your £10 and your £20 notes rolled out on your bed, he's saying... Get on my level. Get on my level. Levels. It's all about levels. Where's the humble guy gone? Where's remain humble? Stay humble. Remain humble. You can relate. And as I said, your wealth is in character, not in material objects. Listen, he's talking about levels. He says, I'm not on his level. But he's talking about money. Fair play to him. He's made a fortune. He smashed it. But let's talk about levels in terms of legacy and fights and career wins. A little fat kid from Mexico made him quit for fuck's sake. He spat his gum shield out and he's looking, looking around at the, looking for the corner, looking for people in the crowd to help him out. He got punched from pillar to post. The referee's looking at him. Do you want to carry on? Do you want to keep fighting? And what's he done? He's quit on his feet. That is embarrassing. Something the Cobra would never, ever do. And he can take that to the bank. Well... I'm going to be honest with you. It's not something that you won't do, but at the same time, it's something that hasn't happened to you yet. And I think there's a slight difference in understanding that. You see, just because it's never happened in your career, it doesn't mean that it can't happen. But you do have the moral high ground as to say, well, you know what? That's never happened to me. So therefore, I can use that as a low-hanging fruit against you, being that you did quit against Andy Ruiz. Now, did he really quit? Uh, look, this particular topic is not for this particular subject. What this particular subject is really all about is trying to understand how people react when, let's say, you try and diss them. Now, look, here's the thing, right? This whole aspect of being humble and this and that, let's be real. A lot of fighters are not humble and you can't blame them. Okay, like, is it great if they are? Yes, uh, like I said, I've given high praises to George St. Pierre, to Khabib Nurmagomedov, to Lennox Lewis, to all these combat sports figures that really are humble. But you can't expect Anthony Joshua to really be like that, even though he plays up to that character. Now, why does he do that? For sponsorships, plain and simple. He's with Under Armour. He's with a whole bunch of other uh, commercialized advertisements that really gets him the bag more than his actual fight purses or d just completely doubles his fight purses on top of his sponsorships. So this is the reason why he is the way that he is in camera. But behind the scenes, to be honest with you, Anthony Joshua is just like anybody who grew up in the hood, who grew up in a very rough neighborhood and this and that. What about this one part of the video where he starts showing Carl Froch uh, the money? Well, first off, so what, what did this even start? Hold on a second. Let's find out. Let's see where this even started. I don't like you. Fair enough. You don't like me. But all I've done is been... So he's called me a prick, and I've gone back to him and said, who are you fucking calling a prick? Oh, okay, so here it is right here. There seems to be, uh, hold on right here. So who the F are you calling a prick? Okay, so it was a text message exchanged, and somewhere along the lines, uh, Anthony Joshua had decided to confront him about it. Let's see here. So he's called me a prick, and I've gone back to him and said, who are you fucking calling a prick? And, um... You know, he's come back and said, you, I don't like you. I'm like, fair enough, you don't like me. But all I've done is been honest and give constructive criticism on what you've done since losing to Ruiz and Usyk and where you're going now, you're fighting Dubois. There's no need to get personal. No need to start on a man's hooter. It's looking pretty good, man. Yeah, so this is an automatic response with anybody, right? Anytime you criticize them, whether they are athletes, whether they are uh, artists, rappers or actors, anytime you criticize them, the one thing they always pull out is the money. They say, well, how about this? You know, you ain't on my level or this and that. Let's be honest, Anthony Joshua, a lot of people are not on your level and that includes a lot of people that are in your team. Here's a funny thing about being broke or calling somebody broke or something like that, right? 
Like, you realize that you being in a privileged position, there's a lot of people in your team that are not. And so, because you want to use this low-hanging fruit argument to get at Carl Frotch, who, by the way, is also a multi-millionaire boxer, also makes money now as a pundit for Sky Sports and whatever uh, TV um, whatever TV networks are willing to give him a deal. Uh, he makes a, a pretty decent amount of money considering the fact that we live in a time era right now where a lot of people are having a hard time uh, buying groceries, paying their bills, and things of that nature. Well, who exactly are you trying to flex towards, right? Because in hindsight, yes, I understand this is what you got to do when somebody tries to banter at you, when somebody tries to diss you, or somebody tries to talk down to you. You got to get them back straight away. I understand that. However, you're not thinking about the people that are in your crew. You're not thinking about the people that are still living in the struggle, that are still in the hood, that are still in these destitute places, and yet... You want to use that as a way to diss your ops or diss your opponent or diss whoever you're beefing with online to make a point while not knowing that you're talking about the situation or even worse situations. Never mind Carl Frotch. How about the people that are in worse off situations than that? And you decide to bring that up. But that's the reality of it. Just understand that whenever people have some sort of quarrel of any kind they're going to use low-hanging fruit arguments as a way to get the other guy back now did we really solve anything by delving into this particular reaction no but it is entertaining and it is worth knowing that just because you're at a stick measuring contest with another person or another person online it doesn't mean that you go out and diss a situation that some of your friends may be in. But don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all that I have. Next topic.